Hello folks, Jerich and welcome back to another webcam video because uh, I mean like I like to give my opinion on things and uh, well, as you guys can see from the title today we have quite a big one. Anyways, uh, before we actually get to that I would just like to say, um, you know, I don't always talk about things that happen to me in real life but I feel like I really wanna express how happy I am because I passed Matura which is like this thing that we have and I said this many times but still it's pretty much uh, the things that we learned throughout the entire high school for certain subjects and I passed and I mean like I was super worried about math and geography but I passed like I had 25% to, uh, to spare so holy fuck I, I'm free for the summer it is just fucking epic anyways uh, yeah, CSR2 versus Racing Girls. Now, uh, a lot of people have been switching to CSR2 for the past few days, and uh, I feel like people really think that this is the beginning of the end for Racing Girls, but it's really not. Uh, and, you know, in this video, I will be giving um, you know, a fair comparison between CSR2 and Racing Girls. So, pretty much, um, there is a lot of differences between the game, even though they are still, you know... Um, the idea is super similar, but the execution is definitely different. So, uh, I have uh, reasons here why Racing Girls is better and why CSR2 is better. But, before we actually do that, I would like to give a huge shout out to a few people. Uh, I would like to give a huge shout out to Josh for giving me 2 mils on CSR2, helping me to rouse the tier 5 campaign, which I'm almost done with. Uh, then, I would like to thank uh, Miguel, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, sorry about that, but he gave me... Probably the biggest donation I've ever received on the Racing Girls 10 Turf Cards plus a Hellcat and 05 Subi and uh, GTR Limited. It is an insane donation. So, huge shout out to him and also uh, thanks to Damian for the Chevelle SS. So, uh, now with that out of the way, um, I'm just gonna begin with the game that we are probably more familiar with. That, of course, being Racing Girls. So, I have a few uh, notes here and pretty much, uh, guys, spam me on. Facebook. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore that. Anyways, first off, my probably biggest argument why Racing Girls is better is huge market. You cannot deny Racing Girls is definitely gonna have more replayability because, you know, after you're done with the campaign, this is gonna be a huge issue on CSR2. It doesn't have any replayability. After you're, do uh, after you're done with the campaign on CSR2, what are you gonna do? The... I mean, I guess that is the whole um, turf thing, I guess, on CSR2, but seriously, um, the multiplayer is very limited, there isn't any chat, there's no friends list, you can't talk to other players in games, so it definitely feels more uh, more of a single player sing for fuck's sake, it feels more like a single player game, even though it's not, sorry about that, I mean, like, I'm, I'm drinking this, totally not sponsored, uh... I mean, like, um, you know, I get things confused. Anyways, so that is that. Uh, this single house definitely has more replayability of the market. You can actually collect things, you know. It's, um, I feel like this single house will have more staying power. But, uh, okay, now a reason why CSR2 is better, obviously, better graphics. CSR2 has the best graphics I've ever seen on a mobile game. It is insane. Now, even though that's not definitely always an advantage, because, for example, even my iPad Air 2, it still doesn't run uh, run as good as Racing Girls. Uh, but still, the graphics is super impressive, or are super impressive. I'm not sure, is it plural? Probably. Okay, whatever. Anyways, um, another reason why CSR 2 is better, the replays are way more consistent. Uh, on Racing Girls, you know, Sometimes, or actually, in my case, usually I pass the finish line before other cards, but still I lose the race because hashtag just racing all those things. And I mean, none of these two games is perfect, but still, um, you know, there's that. Anyways, uh, let's see, I have one more uh, pretty much uh, argument why uh, CSR2 is better than racing all those. It's easier to get the premium currency, and this is really something that I was really pleasantly surprised by. Uh, because on Racing Girls you have, uh, what is it, gems and, uh, you know, Racing Girls cash, the pretty much standard in-game currency. But on uh, CSR2 you have uh, gold, uh, CSR2 cash, I'm just gonna call it that, and uh, keys. And the actual gold uh, is super easy to obtain, I got around 800 of it, and 
Um, you can really get a lot of things which are supposed to be premium in CSL2, okay, excluding gold crates, but you can still get silver crates and you can get free cards. It is something that I was really impressed by and it's uh, definitely better than CSR1 and CSR Classics. Uh, I'm talking about CSR2 in that respect because, um, you know, like you would get constant ads on CSR1 and CSR Classics, but on CSR2 you can actually experience, uh, you know, that... Um, how can I say, the premium feeling, even though I still didn't spend any money, and yet I still have uh, some go uh, some cards which I bought for gold, some I got from, uh, for free, for example, the Kamado SS. So it's uh, definitely a really nice touch. But anyways, uh, let's get uh, back to why Racing Elves is better. It's more established, and there are way more cards on it. I mean, this is the thing I noticed on CSR2. Sometimes you are racing, uh, you know, other uh, campaign bosses, if you will. I noticed that those bosses are driving cards which you can't currently drive in the game. And it's it's weird because I saw uh, uh, Nissan Sylvia S15, I believe it was on uh, Tier 3 campaign. It was like race number 2 or 3. So I noticed that, but I also noticed, for example, like at the very beginning, you get to race... Uh, uh, really old golf, which is never seen anywhere else in the game, and I mean the BMW uh, M3 E92 is there as well. So pretty much some cars just can't be accessed on CSR2, even though they are obviously in the game. I mean I saw them. You guys might have as well if you played the game. So that's kind of weird. Um, still, okay. Uh, Racing Owls is more developed because it had uh, around. Uh, let's say around 40 generation of turf cars, probably more. Okay, definitely more. Has, I mean, okay, turf wars have been going on for over two years, so around 100 generation of turf cars. While CSR2 might have, this might be the first one, the actual Hellcat event. Okay, let's say it has like two turf cars, which you can't trade, so really no replayability, as I've said. Probably the biggest disadvantage that CSR2 has. Now, she probably mentioned that CSR2. Uh, and Racing Owls, both of them have uh, great room to improve, obviously. I'm really excited to see how CSR2 actually develops, because of, as of right now, it's actually a really good game, and I quite enjoy it, and I'm sure that a lot of other people do. Now, is it gonna replace Racing Owls? In my opinion, no. I will continue playing both of them, because I think that they are both good games. Um, but what I'm saying is, I still get kind of infuriated when people say, fuck Racing Owls, I'm moving on to CSR2. Uh, because as of right now, you're gonna play for a few days, maybe like two weeks, you're gonna complete the campaign and after that you're gonna realize that you don't have anything else there. So as of right now, just stay on the racing hours really, I mean, okay, I mean, it's your fucking choice, but still, I'm gonna personally stay playing both, because I love both games, um, you know. And also, uh, I mean, I'm not sure if it was just me, but the EVO 8 Race or Rivals Edition came into Racing Hours after a long, long wait, so shoutouts to Glue, fucking love that, I'm gonna get so many of them, it's it's epic, so uh, that's that, any other arguments I have written down here? Uh, yeah, uh, actually I do, uh, I believe there's one more, uh, yes, the RRC is way cheaper, for example, you can get mills of the market for like a dollar, I sell them personally for two bucks per mill, uh, while you still have to farm in CSR2, even though there are some cheaters on CSR2, but okay, there are those... I mean, those exist in Racing Elves as well, still, uh, in both games, they will definitely be patched, so I wouldn't really worry about that. So that is that. Um, final opinion on this, uh, I love both games, really. Uh, both have their advantages and disadvantages. Um, personally, I... If I had to pick only one game I would continue playing, it would be Racing Owls because, well, I have a huge fucking garage on it. It has trading, it has better multiplayer, um, it doesn't have better graphics, but it still runs better uh, on my device anyway. Even though CSR2 is a great game, like, definitely better than uh, what I was expecting from it. And I can definitely see why a lot of people are playing it, but, you know, um, you know everyone has their opinion, so this is mine. Do you agree with this? Uh, you know, do you have any other arguments for CSR2 or Racing Owls? Uh, if you do, uh, leave them in the comment section. Holy fuck, I feel super hyperactive as of right now. I have no idea why. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Jerry, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!